The Irwin Sauter's uh, 55 uh, Studebaker President Speedster. There's Irwin. Yeah, and he's had a lot of different Studebakers. He's got a, a real show car, a Resto Mod 55 uh, Speedster that uh, he takes the shows all over the place and it's got a LT1 engine in it. This one is uh, all bone stock. It's got the original engine transmission. so nice and this has got all the original patina on it beautiful example The interior, original patina again. Ah, Erwin says that this uh, interior has been reupholstered and it's had a different headliner put in it, but it looks period correct and uh, shows uh, really nice. Erwin, do you mind if I uh, upload this video to YouTube and then and then put it to the Sudebaker Drivers Club? So Erwin, do you want to say anything to your uh, fellow members in the Sudebaker Drivers Club about this car or anything? I've had Studebakers since I was 20 years old. My first one was a 51 Land Cruiser, four door, and then I had a 55 Commander to our hard top in black and white. And uh, I've had Studebakers all my life, 64 Superhawk, uh, four 55s, big president and two speedsters, and three speedsters now, of course, with this one. And I just love the 55. Uh, I hate to part with this, but uh, if somebody else can use it, they can have it. If you want. No, because I don't really want to sell it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go, Erwin. I have um, a lot of the original paperwork. It was purchased uh, new in Texas and has spent practically all its life in New Mexico. And for the last uh, 22 years, um, it has been in Arizona. So um, it's basically a rust-free car. Um, very, very solid uh, vehicle. Go. It's presently licensed uh, to me in Arizona and it's a question of whether I'll take it back down there sometime. I am taking my resto rod 55 Speedster to Arizona this winter. Uh, we've had it down there before and it's just uh, a hoot to go to car shows every weekend down there and be able to drive it every day. Away we go. So here's Irwin's uh, 55 Speedster Resto Mod. And uh, this one's been winning shows everywhere it goes for a few years. It's um, not uh, stock anymore it's quite custom the front buckets are electric uh, full control they're out of a 2004 Lincoln um, tilt steering um, custom made uh, console with um, engine turned material to match the dash and we opted for some cloth and uh, vinyl interior for the hot weather in Arizona. So our just Chrysler, go. go ahead. Um, true spokes, and they are the same pattern, of course, as Studebaker, so they fit uh, with wide white walls. The motor transmission 
and uh, computer are all out of a 98 Corvette and uh, the transmission, the, of course the motor is um, LS1 5.7 liter the transmission is a 4L60E and the differential is forward 8 inch and it is set up with a trailer hitch to pull a vintage trailer isn't that great? So how many times have you had this to Arizona? Uh, this would be the second winter we've taken it down. We didn't take it down last winter because my wife um, had a heart attack and uh, you get a lot of attention with it and a lot of offers to sell it. Beautiful, beautiful car. The first time I saw this car was about four years ago, I think, at the car show in, in Vernon. And uh, I was uh, struck with this beauty right off the bat. So there he is, Erwin Sauter. And we'll uh, take a quick look at his trailer that he's going to be loading this car into to take down to Arizona. So this is what... Uh, the 55 Speedster looks like before it's been resto modded. And this is the trailer you're going to look for when you want to see this Studebaker showing up at a car show someplace. Irwin's resto mod rides like a queen in this high and dry, safe and sound. So thanks for showing us your. Small part of your collection, Erwin. You're welcome. Okay.